Hey guys, it's Lainey, and I thought I would do a quick Read Your Bookshelf a Thought updates for day one and day two. The day before Read Your Bookshelf a Thought started, I got an email from Edelweiss, or Edelweiss, telling me that I have been approved to read Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. I was able to read Crystal Meth, and it's not released until the end of the month, so. I decided to do it. I wasn't going to pass it up. I'm going to read it. I quickly read it and I finished it last night right before midnight and you guys, it was perfect. It was the perfect... I have no words yet. My mo my emotions for this book are still so very raw. I was just listening to like the best eight tracks um, mixes for this book and it just, it just fit. It just fit everything together and it was so beautiful in my head and everything... Ugh. So I finished <laughs> Into the Still Blue last night, which made me stop reading what I was supposed to be reading for the um, Read Your Bookshelf-a-thon, which is The Forsaken by Lisa Stas. And I'm actually 100 pages into this. I'm really enjoying it, and if you like Under the Never Sky, I think you're really going to like this book. I think I'm really going to enjoy the rest of this book when I continue reading it. So what set me back even more was on Tuesday, I went to Barnes & Noble. Let's do a quick mini haul. I bought... Fugitive X by Greg Rassenblum, which is the second book in the Revolution 19 series. They're gonna look so pretty on my shelf. And I also bought Independent Study by Joelle Charbonneau, which is the second book in the testing. Those are gonna look really cool on my shelf as well. And then my car broke down on my way back from Barnes & Noble. So pretty much Barnes & Noble broke my car. But it, there's obviously things really wrong with it before that, so currently don't have a car. My parents are coming tomorrow to help me get rid of it. <laughs> so that messed up my reading schedule too because I was like trying to figure out what happened to my car in the freezing cold. I don't I don't know anything about cars. I'm such a girl when it comes to that. I'm hoping to finish this. This is only how far I'm into it so far, 100 pages. And then I can start reading The Pledge by Kimberly Durning because I really want to get to that book by Friday, tomorrow. Also, quick note, I'm going to link this awesome video that Mika um, did. She did top 13 of 13 video where she had uh, 13 of her favorite booktubers talk about their favorite books that they read in 2013 and I was one of them. Of course, thank you Mika and I'm linking her video down below because there are 13 other amazing booktubers that were a part of that video and you guys should check them out and you should subscribe to them so you guys probably can guess what book I talked about. Spoiler alert, I talked about crack cocaine. That was my quick update for the Read Your Bookshelf-a-thon and I'm so enjoying it so far. I don't really want it to end this week. No. I will see you guys all later. Bye!